here we have some fractions with certs and they ask us to write it in the form a root 3 plus b over c where a, b and c are integers. Just about every time you're asked to simplify fractions what you want to do is to find a common denominator so that you can add or subtract the numerators. Uh, so for this problem that involves multiplying the first fraction by root 3. So we have 3 root 3 over 4 take root 3 and we want to multiply that by this root 3 here. So we multiply the numerator and denominator by root 3. We can do that because that's the same thing as multiplying by 1. So we haven't actually changed anything. And we want to multiply the second fraction by 4 take root 3, the denominator of the first fraction. So this is 2 over root 3 multiplied by 4 take root 3 over 4 take root 3. Uh, now we have a common denominator and we can uh, subtract the numerators. I'm going to multiply these root 3s. So root 3 times root 3 is 3, multiplied by 3 is 9. Then we have subtract and put the second expression in brackets because that negative will distribute to both terms. Here we have 2 times 4 which is 8 and 2 times negative root 3. Let's just write that as such. And this is all over uh, root 3 multiplied by 4 take root 3. Okay, let's go ahead and keep simplifying. 9 take 8 is 1 and negative negative 2 root 3 is plus 2 root 3 and this is over 4 root 3 plus uh, sorry not plus subtract 3 got a bit excited there so far so good but we still need it in the form where there's only an integer on the bottom what we need to do now is something called rationalizing the denominator and when we have an expression like this where there's two terms with the third we multiply by the conjugate, uh, which is just changing the sign in the middle of the expression usually. So we multiply the top and bottom by 4 root 3 plus 3 over 4 root 3 plus 3. Okay, and you'll see what effect this has in a moment. So let's go ahead and continue. Uh, so treat this as double brackets. Okay, so multiplying the first terms we get 4 root 3, the outer terms plus 3, the inner terms, that's plus uh, 8 multiplied by root 3 times root 3 is just 3, and the last terms, that's plus 6 root 3. And this is all over. 4 root 3 multiplied by 4 root 3, the first terms here, that's going to be 16 multiplied by 3, uh, now you notice if we multiply the outer terms and the inner terms they are going to be uh, negative negatives of each other so they will cancel out okay um, so then we're just left with the, the final terms neg or the, the last terms negative root 3 multiplied by plus root 3 which is take 9 okay uh, then let's go ahead and simplify as much as we can, 4 root 3 plus 6 root 3 in the numerator is 10 root 3. Uh, 8 times uh, 3. By the way, that dot is another way of representing multiplication in algebra, if you haven't seen that before. That's 24 plus 3 is 27. And on the, in the denominator, we have 48 take 9, which is 39. And that's your final answer there. So. There you go. Uh, that's how you simplify fractions with thirds. Hope you found that helpful. Please leave a like if you did and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.